gonna be so it's gonna be either F Frederick Jungler or I think it's Frederick Jungler. The, so because the Paquito is go into the X plane, and it's gonna be another Iritel for Soriano. There you go, another hero that we know. Soriano finds a whole lot of comfort on that Irithel and Imam as well on a signature pick in the Eve, the Estes. Even the Paquito here for Dapadop, all signature picks, just a Fredrin for Del Rosario is... Meanwhile, Soriano with his Irithel needs more time to get her uh, his item. Meanwhile, Filoluna with the babies here trying to be the first target here and the, it's gonna be the first blood in the hand of Siv. Now he's trying to cover that mid lane here. Meanwhile, Soriano needs to get more information towards the positioning of from Philippine because he almost can get oh. ganged like this. Jolton instantly with the cables able to find oh, a kill the turret up top. Okay, meanwhile, in the gold lane, Soriano trying to give him some pressure here with the poke damage towards Steve, but there's gonna be an SS at the coming with a heal. And Jolton tries so hard to take down the Soriano, but Soriano is still able to stay alive. And still survive with only two members. Very, right, think very about it. Jotun is gonna have a tough time in his orange buff. In his purple buff, it's gonna be him still finding that purple buff though with the retribution. The petrify as well, connecting onto Del Rosario, who's gonna be taken down. The purple buff not on Jotun's hand, so it's actually oh. stolen away with real world inflation now popped in. It is gonna be Dapadap who looks for it, but Soriano gets killed in oh. that gold lane. A 1v1. It's a one for one. But it ends up being worth it to Argentina, kill-wise, 2-1 to one in the end. Oh my god, this, that slow effect comes from Filmalona, the domain of, Man, of Moon Goddess. 90% slow effect, it makes all the people, all the players from Argentina cannot do much inside the circle of the of the skill here. And meanwhile, Jotun with the steel cover a little bit here, and it's gonna be a punishment that comes from Del Rosario because he cannot connect as soon as possible. The glorious pathway has been popped up from Papadoc, and uh, as we can see, that actually Soriano now, the oh. Train, oh, the petrify connects to two member, and Papadoc really still in the good position here. Meanwhile, Soriano is still able to survive as well because there's some healing that comes from Lila Runa. Oh my god, look at the damage coming in as Jotun jumps in with the cables there, followed up Meteor. Meteoro finds the kill with the alarm bomb. The Lord now bringing it back to reset it, but Meteoro is still holding it. Definitely Both teams definitely. still holding it onto 7,000 HP. That's gonna be the engage from Erwin right now. It's the retribution battle oh. will be won by Jotun. The cross Botang on towards Del Rosario will be able to pick him down. Argentina backing up. Papa Dog losing a whole lot of HP, oh, but look fight? at Soriano, they who's able fight? to do shot so much damage, but will fall to the hands of Jotun in the end. Erwin caught in the midst of it all, gonna be punched to death, knocked out. By Dap -a -dap. The Philippines has a lot of advantage here. They they have this, they have this uh, Irithel, right? With the healing as well. Erwin, Erwin, Erwin! My goodness! Oh my God. The ocean fight, Soriano with the what? flanks, and it happens again to Philippines. The flanking pressure from Argentina. Right, it happened uh, against Indonesia with Psychos. Now Jotun jumps in onto three members here with a glorious pathway as well. Jotun still able to get out as Papadok jumps in. Erwin not able to find anyone right now, but a crossbow Tang is going to be ready for Siv. Doesn't quite get the weakness points necessary to look for it. Dapadap now. Jumping forward, that's going to be Erwin once again with the damage onto Villa Luna and Dapadab now going to be traded back in. Erwin falling in the skirmish. Meteoro pops Meteoro that time. Villa Luna trying to stop that Papa Dog. Meanwhile, Jotun is already being show up in the mid. One more weakness point there, but look at Jotun who dives in onto five members. The real world inflation on him as well. Oh. Jotun's going to be taken down. Lord wide open for the taking Sorry, from the Philippines and they get it. Right now as Dapadab knocks Papa Dog up for the taking. It is Argentina who are now caught walking back on the back foot. Philippines looking to use this lead, but they need to be careful of Erwin and the bush read out perfectly by Dapadop. And now they are focused to they are focusing to get more targets objective here to find some uh -oh. skirmish or team fight here. It's gonna be a stun for the side of Argentina towards Dapadop, but he actually gets out now. But look at Erwin who jumped oh. in, but it's gonna be knocked back up by the knockout strike from Dapadop. Jotun looking to buy what some time right now. Meanwhile, Argentina still trying to find someone that can be knocked down here. 
there's gonna be a rough F coming from Erwin, but Philippine team still, they are trying to force back, they are trying to fight back here, and look at the, the damage coming from uh, Del Rosario with the stun as well, and Papadog is gonna be the one who got shut down in the jungle. You can see the top side though, Jotun was in that top lane, getting the turrets down. As this is going to be Philippines who are able to punish Papa Dog and Argentina. Meteoro going to be targeted down right now. As that's going to be safe. Looking for the crossbow attack, but will not be able to find the weakness points. Jotun just jumping in to cancel, to threaten Imam, to stop that real world manipulation. As Siv tries his best to jump around right now. Jotun coming back in onto Imam, not able to find it right now. Jotun gets back out. Erwin. Looking for the engage, gets the breath of the ocean, but he did not get that petrified down when he jumped in. Was not in range. Now it's gonna be Philippines who are walking back as Argentina are able to defend once mm -hmm. again. And this is an opportunity again for both teams to look for a team fight. But again, in this Lord dance, it is gonna be a 50-50 if they commit to it. Jutson making his way back again towards that Lord. Look at the concealed play by Erwin as he looks for that flank. Oh, to Soriano, but oh, to Petrify. What? But Soriano is able to dash out. That's going to oh, be no. Mom targeted down. That's an immortality popped in a sieve. Is going to be taken out as well. A one for one as the mid laner has oh, been taken out the gold laner. Soriano free hitting his Papa Dog will lose his immortality next. Papa Dog will lose his life as well to the hands of Dapadop. It's a two for one trade for the Philippines and now they're looking to punish. I think they still need that Lord or maybe not because they are going into the, the mid lane right now. Very, very confident. Meanwhile, Jotun tried so hard to take down this Dapad up with the steel cable that connect and also the cutthroat. Uh -oh. I still want to buy some time this Jotun. Jotun is trying his hardest to clear out the oh waves to God. cut it out. Immortality gonna be popped there. Again, now with three members down, it's gonna be the rough waves in desperation. That's a beautiful winner. Truncheon by Villaluna to bait it out. It's a 1v4 currently. Right now, it does seem like Philippines want to go for the end right now. Meteoro will not be able to defend the base all alone as a soul roamer. And it's Philippines who find the first game. 24 minutes game. We s we've seen a very, very slow face game in the first game between Philippines and also Argentina. And I know it's not very easy as well for Philippines because of the Karita presence coming from the Mom Shu, you know? He's just amazing because he knows this Estes is the signature hero for Phila Luna. So he wants to maximize the potential and he wants to make the team fight for Philippines longer and longer. And this is what makes Argentina kind of survive in the long term team fight. One death on this Ooh. SS. Oh! Wait! It's a Granger jungle! They're pulling what? it off Argentina! We saw it from the Philippines. Argentina are picking it up, saying that, hey, we will try to your replicate your success on the Granger. Oh my holy moly. Holy moly indeed. This this meta two marksmen Argentina. Yes, a Granger they has this uh, maybe I can say massive basic damage First in the damage earlier as well. So I think Papado could be a disaster for um Philippines. Meanwhile, some of time journey comes in, not yet, but the reverse time has been connected. Uh -oh. To Erwin and Del Rosario, and there's a good first blood that comes from Sif, but Imam finally he success to make the time trade. And time again, but in that gold lane, I agree with you. It was definitely worth it for Philippines and the mm -hmm. turtle side. Though it's gonna be the retribution battle, and a very good knockout strike from Dapadop to stop this turtle take, and that's Philippines picking up the turtle, and everything in the early game is going towards Philippines, Argentina. Siv lost so much HP and a lot of gold. Meteoro gonna be solo killed by just a real world manipulation. And this is an orange buff taken by Del Rosario, stolen away from Argentina. <laughs> okay, and now Erwin trying to babysit the Siv again and again. It makes Villa Luna also almost need to do the same thing over and over again. The first time jumps in with the alarm bomb and Rusiano can get that kills very easy. Erwin too, gonna be fallen here, even though he is able to survive, he used that flicker. He's losing the, the, the lane here, but meanwhile, Papa Dog need to run away. Oh, oh. really nice joke coming from Dapa Dap. He saw it coming though. Happy feet, man. That's Dapa Dap. Oh. Just showing. The
The respect is given, and they're already grouping up here in the mid lane. That's a good Divine Judgment to cancel the Violet Requiem, but it's going to be Wise who finds Ooh, it. Still, nice. Del Rosario getting Meteoro. Not a kill, though, for now. It's Imam. Now this might be personal, Momo oh, Chan. Wow. That was a solo ult oh. from Imam. And he's put in a very risky situation. Dabadab as well, jumping in with a knockout strike, almost finding Siv. But Villa Luna will be taken down. Del Rosario backing off Dabadab as well. They both need to be very cautious when it comes down to the team fights because Argentina, they're a very good skirmishing team. Yeah, agree with that. Even though with the one real world manipulation from Imam, Shut down this Meteor arrow, even though finally Argentina got two members from Philippines. But Jotun with the solo kill that's coming from the put up. And also one bad fist and also the bad impact. The put up still able to survive. Ooh. Man, oh man. It will buy a lot of time for Philippines to just giving a split push into the top lane. Here as well, top side taken down. Now at Violet Requiem comboed in with a knock up. An easy kill for Soriano to pick off. He just had to basic attack there with the CC placed down. And now the tier 2 is going to be sieged by Philippines. As Argentina so far in this game. And Philippines, they have to play it maybe not more than 15 minutes game. Oh man, that Divine Judgment with a combo as well. Soriano going to be taken down by that Brave Spider. But the knockout strike comes in. Dabadab oh, still no. able to disengage him. Mop looking forward, but Siv oh. follows through. Dabadab running for the hills, goes back in. Siv is still able to find that kill. But it's a four for two trade for Argentina. The Lord spawning in in 24 seconds. Out of nowhere, Argentina able to find a winning team fight despite having the goal deficit. And now it's happening for... Started here by Philippines right there. Divine Judgment will actually be able to find Villa Luna, but the damage won't be enough to take him down. It will be in the end, but that's not a sniping him. Jotun running back. Villa Luna Stage. taken down. It's going to be incredibly difficult for Philippines to look for an opening. It's popping out, jumps in with the Ravis Fighter. It's going to be CC, but it's not connects Ooh. onto Imam. And just like that, Soriano's going to be taking low. Erwin finds the Divine Judgment, suppressing him. And that's the Death Sonata as well. A lot of damage being placed down. And it's a one for one. The Roamer for the gold lane. Roamer, though. Arch we only see like a Genius One and a Divine Glaive. Papadog, though, opening up the map, finding Imam there. But it's a solo kill. What? Dapada finding the kill with the help of Imam oh, right no. now. The Ravis Fighter is popped in by Papadog. Dog, but it's he's all With alone. The he pops in a winner's truncheon just to buy a little bit more time. But it's all for naught as Argentina, the rest of the members are still in that purple buff. It does seem like Philippines will be able to go for this evolved lord for free. No contest possible for Argentina. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even though with the purple buff in the hand of Michiero, the problem is two members down from Argentina left three members who need to defend the base now and Del Rosario I think they need some help yeah I think they need to get this alert as soon as possible even though Pabodok still need like 11 15 just giving a David towards Villa Luna uh oh Violet Requiem missing there that's gonna be Erwin finding the Divine Judgment onto the real world with Ooh, that's comboed in but look at a knockout strike from Dapadop he's taken very low no one's able to hit onto that base Soriano pops in the crossfire no. tank translated over towards the other members but the winner's truncheon is there but Soriano Ooh. doesn't care jumps in towards the base finishing the game and ending it 2-0 sending Argentina home Wow, Philippines. I think this is today is the longest matches between the Philippines with this Eve again and again. He used the real world manipulation very, very well. But the problem is, even though we know now you have to use the surpress ability to cancel the real world manipulation, he doesn't care at all because he knows that actually there's no surpress ability coming from our uh, find leaf and even the burn F effect that coming from the glowing one. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Imam somehow still doing the most damage in the team with mm -hmm. only three. Technically, two mm -hmm. utility items and one damage, right? Mm -hmm. the